nice having you my friends and in this in the previous video we had looked at the solution to part one and part two where they asked us to find mk which we have down here and we had found uh, sl okay now here in part three they're asking us to find the distance o to s so just imagine if i'm standing at o and i'm just going to draw a line so you can identify with me so from o and they're asking us to find that purple or blue the length of the distance there that I've just drawn with the purple marker okay now if you should look carefully if I'm standing at the point O without walking straight across the field okay the football field to S um, there are two this there are two um, distinct paths that I could take or travel to the point S I could move from O to K and then from K to S or I could simply move from O to M and then from M to s and i would be at that point s okay now pretty much my friends so let's just make some quick notes they're asking us to find from uh the distance o oops let me use another color okay let me just clear that so they're asking us to find o to s o to s okay so o to s would be equal to and check me out now if i'm if i'm standing here at this point o then I will be moving from O to M, okay? I, I, I chose to move that distance. So I'm moving from O to M. So O to M. And then I am going to move from M to S. And remember, in the previous video, we found MK and MK was positive. If you notice, the white arrowheads showing the direction. So I'm moving along a positive direction there. So I would be saying O to M. O to S is equal to O to M plus M to s okay and then let's just put our our heads to uh, indicate the direction we're moving in okay my friends so really my friends this is equal to now o to m if we should go back on the diagram o to m is really u little u and i have it there okay so this is little u plus m to s and if you remember in the previous lesson when we were when i was establishing these points i said that m to s is the same as two-thirds mk given the fact that m to k we divided it into three equal parts and again you could always watch that if you're not sure okay so m to s is really two-thirds of mk However, we found MK earlier. That was the first thing in part one here. And MK was really V minus U. That's what we found MK to be, which is V minus U. So here now, my friends, what we have here is really, this is U plus two thirds times V is the same as two V upon three, okay? Likewise, two thirds times minus U is the same as negative, to u upon 3 okay my friends and if you notice we have fractions so we could just simplify this by finding the lcd so really what i have here for my lcd is 3 okay so i am saying 1 into 3 goes 3 times 3 times u will give me a 3u okay 3 into itself once goes once and 1 times 2v that will give me a 2v and 3 into itself once again, so I have a negative 2u there, okay? Now, quickly, guys, um, if you notice, let's just group our like terms here. So I'm going to group all my u's together. So I'm going to say 3u minus 2u, okay, plus my 2v, okay? And that's all upon 3, all right? So here now, by grouping like terms, I'm saying 3 minus 2, that will leave me with a u, or 1u for some persons, if they prefer it, saying it like that, plus or 2v, and that's all upon 3, okay? And pretty much that's our answer, okay? But for some persons, you may prefer uh, writing it in another way. Um, it's the same thing. Um, to divide by 3 is the same as multiplying by a third, so you could say it's 1 third, open bracket, u plus 2v, okay? both expressions are the same thing so it's pretty much like that my friends hope that you found this uh, useful feel free to leave a comment on our website when watching these videos if you if you're still not sure or if you have a question all right good good bye bye